Well, one of the things people hate about living in Thailand, or many hate, um, my experience so far has been pretty good. First, first off, this is where this is where Nong and I live, up in the Soy Six Pramnak, and the what we call the Russian market is right in front of us. And uh, yeah, you've got to go to immigration, and uh, many people feel it's inefficient and. It takes a long time to get anything done. But I look after my mum and myself here, so i got to do our, our 90 day report. So today that's what we're going to do. And I'll talk to, talk to you on the way down about some of my experiences. Okay, one, I mean, one of the hardest things for me filming during the day is uh, struggling to see my phone in the light. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, well, obviously I'm, cy I'm cycling down to immigration because the biggest pain for me down there is parking. Although there is a, there is a car park opposite, but it's 40 baht, you know. I'm Scottish. It's not really, it's in a, it's in a horrible field. And it just mucks up the inside of your car. So anyway, it gives me a chance to show you a bit of the beach. Where I walk Friday every morning. Yeah, my 90 day report is due on the 9th, which is this coming Sunday, 9th of April. And um, there's also a Buddha day this week, and I'm not sure if that's going to affect uh, immigration's opening times. I would normally never go on a Monday because it's busier. So Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are my favourite kind of days. Friday is a no-no because -no, everybody that's realised they've forgotten rushes to get it done before the weekend. And with the Buddha day I feel uh, I'm just chancing my luck a bit. So I'll go and do it a few days early. So to do your 90 day report, you don't need to go in person. You can send anybody to do it. So I will do my one and my mum's one today. See that car there? You see it? Whoa. Beautiful colour of wine red. Um, yeah, so the... I normally do my, my own and my mum's at the same time, so that's four trips a year. And then the only other time I really go to immigration is for, I'll turn you out the right a bit, is to do our uh, annual visa extensions. So uh, if you're not aware, there's, there's two main visas that people retire here on. The one you apply for in your home country, the OA visa. So you do all your checks back in, say, the UK or the USA, wherever you're from, and uh, they give you the visa. And then when you come over here, when the visa, just before the visa expires, You, um, you go down and apply for a retirement extension. So your visa is kept alive by your extension. That's how I like to think about it anyway. The other one is the O visa. And that's where you, uh, you come here normally on like a tourist visa and then you apply for a long-term visa in country. To apply for the O visa, you've got to have your bank account with your money in it. So normally, it means there's a bit of jiggery pokery, i.e. you're using an agent to open a bank account, put the funds in, make all that look legitimate, I would say. 
On the O visa, there's no requirement for insurance as yet. Your OA visa, you, you must have insurance in place. So that's the main two types. That, personally, I'm on I'm on a work permit extension. So basically, I worked before, had a work permit, so I didn't have either of the suitable O or OA visas. It makes it it makes it a little bit confusing because there's nothing in my passport as such. If you haven't worked out where we are. We're on Dong Tan Beach. I was just about over to eat. the guy in the motorbike thought he'd do the same. Okay. Yeah, God, temperature wise, my little computer's telling me it's 42. It, it doesn't feel as hot as that. I'm sure the the sun hitting on it is is making it feel like that. Yeah, so I did I did my mum's uh, <coughs> retirement extension about three weeks ago, and uh, she's on an OA visa. She applied for it back in the UK, and that gives you a year to sort out your bank account, get your money that needs to be put in place when you come over. And I have heard that um, Bangkok Bank, which are one of the main kind of providers for the bank accounts, are stopping to do any bank accounts for people on a tourist visa. So I don't know how that's going to affect the people who come in and apply for an O-Visa in country because you won't get the O-Visa till you've got a bank account and you won't get the bank account because you haven't got a visa. I opened my bank account years ago on a tourist visa when I was buying a property here. I did just go to the bank and say, I'm buying a property, I need, I need somewhere to send the money and they had it open very quickly. Okay, that's us in Jump TN. Well, it takes a couple of minutes. Yeah, I just kind of feel with this channel, I rely on Nong ha having a day off, and it means that she can't uh, fully relax when she gets time off. So I'm going to try and do some more stuff through the week, probably more informative. I don't think you want to sit and watch me eating a burger. Yeah, so back to my mum's visa. Uh, you do have to be there in person. They take your photograph when you're in. And uh, I have to take her to the bank in person to sign the letter that the bank will then draft up a letter showing what funds you've got. So you need to take your bank book and update it and not just update it because a lot of the time they will just put on your last transaction date that has to be that date i.e. the date you have gone into the bank for the letter <coughs> you pay them a hundred baht and five minutes later they give you the letter and left in here, this is Soy 5, where immigration is located. So for us in Pramnak, we, we use the, 
the Bangkok Bank runs parallel with Walking Street on Second Road. So we did, we went there, got the letter, shot up here at immigration. I already had photograph and I, I always pick up extra paperwork so I have it done at home, ready for it. We went in, we photocopy some documents, we hand over 1,900 baht, and the total time from leaving the condo to walking out of immigration was 1 hour 15 minutes. My mum was like, God, so quick, you know, and it was so easy. We took our photo and you get a little ticket, go back the next day and just pick up. Uh, my mum doesn't need to go back for the pickup. They're quite happy for me to do it. Now, this, you can see why I don't take the car. It's always, it's always the same. So here we are at immigration. Great big queues outside, and it looks like they might have changed the format. Let me find out. I won't be able to film inside. Okay, that took me a total of two minutes, and I've got my little ticket. It used to be you go and have a coffee, but they they now have two pickup times, so it's uh, like midday and four o'clock. So, uh, yeah, it's only about 10 past uh, two here. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll go home or maybe go for a beer somewhere and I'll come back here at four. A few moments later. Well, it's still daylight, but it's a lot cooler. I'm down to 30 degrees now. When I came here, it was 42. Uh, immigration has some issues today. She said, oh, the computers have a problem. But, um, and I'll be honest, this is the first time I've ever had a delay so I dropped off at 2.15. She said, come back at four o'clock. And it is now, oh, where are we? It is now 5.26. And there's still a couple of people left waiting. So yeah, a bit of a disaster. You can't always do it online. And the, if you're into that kind of stuff, fill your boots. Okay, I'll leave you there. That was <laughs> my afternoon at immigration. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye for now.